Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review slash loadout uh, is going to be about my Vito Pro Pack MP1 pouch. Now, Raul Gomez or Gamez, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I probably just butchered it, and I'm sorry if I did. But he's asked me a couple times. He said, could you do a review on your EDC, your MB2, or your TP1 pouch? Which I don't have the MB2, and I don't have a TP1. But I believe he's talking about my MP1 uh, so I'm going to do a review of it more so it's going to be about the pouch But I'll show you the tools that I keep in it It's not necessarily a loadout that stays exactly this same way all the time But for the most part it stays just like it is so Just a little bit of a background the very first veto bag or pouch that I purchased was the tp3 So that's the one without the hard bottom just a pouch I bought that looking for basically this. And after I got it, and I still like this, I use this on my Atlas vest. I use it whenever I'm doing a job that takes more tools than what this takes. But it was a little bit big for what I was wanting, but I bought it because it was cheaper. It's $55. And I didn't want to spend the money on this one whenever I looked at it, even though I thought this was what I wanted because this was $85. And to me, that was just a little bit expensive to pay for a small pouch at the time but i went ahead and pulled the trigger because if if you'll notice when you see a lot of electricians working they carry a small pouch like this it's probably klein most of the time is what i've noticed and it's basically something just to carry and i've got more things in it probably than what i need but something to carry a pair of strippers maybe a couple screwdrivers a pair of cutters of some kind and just the bare minimum type tools of what you want to use on whatever it is that task that you're doing whether it's rough in or whatever and again even though i'm not an electrician 100 percent of the time at the campus that i worked at at the time when i bought these i was facilities manager i was a maintenance person all throughout the years and it just seems like I, I did a ton of electrical work at that facility that's what i was always doing i was kind of the electrician person uh, on site so i was always doing those things so i always typically carried a small pouch like this in that way but i wanted a veto quality pouch because some of the ones that i had before just didn't work well so i'm going to show you why i like this one now is it expensive yes it's going to run you about 85 dollars, and that's if you can find it because they sell this mp1 version which is the smallest and then they sell an mp2 that's a little bit bigger now this mp1 cost you 84 dollars or 85 dollars and then i think it's another 10 dollars to go for the mb2 but they're always sold out on Vito's website the mp1 this one here you can still get on amazon other than that you pretty much have to go to ebay now i don't know if they're not making them anymore or if it's something that they just can't keep in stock or whatever it is i have no idea but i just know they're never in stock on Vito's website and then they also sell a tp1 and a tp2 which is one of the ones that he mentioned uh those are just leather versions of these same things and they're a little bit more expensive but again they're always sold out as well they never have those in stock so if you want one of these you pretty much almost have to go on amazon or ebay unless you just so happen to catch when they're in stock on Vito's website so some of the main things that i like about this pouch is one you can see it holds quite a bit and again you'll see the pouches more or the slots more so as i empty this as i talk about the loadout uh the material is great you know i've had this for years now at least two maybe even three years now I mean, it still looks extremely nice. Uh, some of the key features on it are, it has this right here, which they suggest that you put in your pocket, whether it's your back pocket or your front pocket. Me personally, I don't do that. I don't know, I can't even explain to you how well that would work because I just don't ever do it. It doesn't make any sense to me because I like this right here, which I typically will put my Klein belt through and then I will wear it on my side and it works out extremely well but you can also just take it and put it directly on your regular belt uh, and not have to wear an extra belt and it works out fine as long as your regular belt can hold this up in, in that way but it basically has a little snap here that you can open slide it up onto your belt or slide a belt through it close it snap it back together now i have not had one single issue with my button but if you go and read reviews or maybe the few people that i've seen a youtube video for for this particular pouch some people have had an issue with this and i have probably snapped and unsnapped unsnapped mine dozens upon dozens if not hundreds of times mine's still holding up well but i can't guarantee you that it seems like some people have some issues with it uh, but the thing that i do like about this right here is that it's basically almost like a 
little stand just to keep your tools up off the ground. Uh, you can also, if you had it face down looking at yourself that way, you can still see everything that you've got going on instead of it laying flat and then you trying to get in there to get to those things. So that's a nice thing about that. I kind of see that more as how I use that instead of sticking it in my pocket. But now I do use this in my veto pocket right here. That's where I keep it. When it's in my truck, I store it there so that that way whenever I go out to my truck, if I don't want to pack my big bag in, that's kind of what I use this for unless there's a specific job that I'm using it I load it differently, but I'll just come out to my truck, grab this out, throw it on my belt. That's what I wear in the house. I don't have to keep up with where did I set my tools, where did I do those things. It's on my side. Everything's right there. Easy to go with. So I really like this pouch. I can't say enough about it. It works out great for me. Uh, so as far as what I do keep in here, again, the loadout might shift from job to job. For the most part, these back three rows, these are the ones that sometimes change just based upon what job I'm doing. For, but everything else in here, it pretty much stays in here just like it is. And I've even got some of these tools, they're in this bag. So you might see that I've got two of things, just like you can see, I've got a non-contact tester here that's fluke. I also have the same one right here. And you'd say, well, why do you carry two of those if you keep those bags together? Because there's times where I go out to my truck and I just take this one off and set it inside of a pack out crate or whatever. And I grab this bag and take that whole bag in. And I don't want to spend time just taking stuff and moving stuff back and forth all the time. So I might do that occasionally with this, but I don't want to have to sit there and always take tools out of this and put it back in this bag you know, every single time that I go to grab this. So that's why you might see that I've got some doubles of some things. That's the reason behind that. But let's go ahead and get into what I have on the inside of this. So up in the very front, again, this is made to have a tape measure on it. I never used it for that. I always carry my tape measure either in my other pocket or whatever it is. And then because I just, I just don't like using A, I don't like using up this space. I can always use it for something else. But I keep a pair of the Knipix Cobras, the 8701 180s. It's my favorite size. I've mentioned that tons of times. And I also have another pair of these inside of that bag. So I've got two if I need them on me. But I always keep one pair in this so that this is the main bag I grab. I've got a good pair of those. So that's what I keep in the front. Again, those the front ones typically, everything I've got in here almost always stay that way. Uh, here in this little bitty slot here, not a lot of things that you can fit in this, but I keep a Klein thermostat screwdriver. Uh, this one is the 32581. It's just a four in one. It's got the typical sizes you're going to almost always use. And again, only reason why I have this one in here, it's not maybe my favorite thermostat screwdriver, but space saver for a quick grab. But again, I could, I got these in this bag. So I, if I just take this whole bag off and take that bag in, I don't have to take this out and put it over into there and those are insulated if I need insulated ones or maybe there's also times where I could take this out and I could swap it out with the new Klein insulated one and put that in here as well I don't typically keep that one in here because it's taller and it's a little bit bigger here and it don't fit down in there as well so that's why I don't keep that in this one and I keep this regular one instead just because it fits better now this side I keep a quarter inch and five sixteenths Malco this is the four inch one i believe that gives me enough to it sticks down in there but it also sticks up enough that i can still grab it with my fingers here keep a sharpie pro uh, you could do that or an ink zaw either one that's a good enough size pocket for that and then this side i keep my non-contact this is my favorite one it's the fluke a one ac a2 it has the sound also has the color that lets you know that it's on all the time. It's just been my favorite one. It's been real reliable. I've not had any issues with these. And again, I keep the same exact one on that bag as well. And even though maybe, I, again, I could easily grab that and just throw it in this every time. But it's just easier for me to not have to worry about swapping the stuff back and forth. Uh, get over here to this side. Back here in the back, these pockets are smaller too. It's kind of about the same size as the one I just took the non-contact bolted tester out of. I keep a smaller pair of pliers wrench. These are the 150s. Uh, I keep them instead of the 180s just because they are a little smaller. So 
it doesn't impede as much with me grabbing this screwdriver out on this side so i would prefer to put, probably keep a pair of 180s in here but i keep those in that bag and for the most part you know these are going to get you by in an everyday carry type situation if i'm looking at it in that way uh, then back on this side on the back i keep the holta force pencil i just leave the sleeve in there and i really like this pencil i like the shape of it but as i mentioned uh, in another video it doesn't locate the same as a pika with it not being round you have to kind of hit it right on but it doesn't bother me as bad in this pouch because i always have this to where i'm looking down in it as i put stuff in it's a little bit easier than like my pants pocket or something where my shirt might cover it up i can always see it so i don't have a problem locating it and then this side over here i wear this on my right side so i try to put the things on this side that i've grabbed the most so that's why i got my pencil and this sharpie pro fits in this one those are my marking things and then i keep this 11 in one impact on this side because that's the bulk screwdriver that i'm going to use on a daily basis so uh, also on this side i have the small railer i just exchange bits in and out of this for whatever i think it is i might need i can get in a bit box and change these out but i didn't want a real big one so i just got the smallest one they have i took off the carabiner and just used a zip tie just to keep it up there closer so it wasn't hanging down so far uh, now some people have mentioned that they've had some problems with theirs breaking here i haven't had that happen yet let us know in the comments below if you've had that issue and if you've contacted the company if they were good about fixing it uh, none of mine have done that yet i haven't had that issue but that's not to say it's not going to happen so here in this middle pouch here again all these pouches are kind of set up to be big enough to hold a pair of pliers uh, i keep my angled uh, diagonals i forget what the part number is on these i think it's 74 21 200 uh, so again these are the angled versions i have a pair of straight ones inside of here that i keep because again that's a tool i'm going to use pretty often i actually prefer these angled ones that's why i leave them out here because i like to use these more often than those so if you don't have a pair of these angled ones you might really like a pair of these it kind of keeps your fingers away from things as you cut stuff so if you got to get up close to something up, up against a wall or whatever it is they work out really well i really like those so again all those things that I just mentioned, including this pencil that I've taken out, those are almost always in here. So those don't typically change very often. Those are the things that I grab. It's this back row back here that might change from time to time, which on this side, I keep the vessel tang through with a DeWalt bit holder uh, that I can just take and change that in, slide that in and out. And again, I can use the bits out of the railer. I can put that in here. And then this also gives me this that I can take out and put into my impact or drill if I've got one of those on me. Uh, but it just mostly is just able to be two different screwdrivers. So I've got the 11 in one impact on this other side. So you'd say, well, you don't even need another screwdriver because this one does Phillips. This one will do slotted. You know, I can change these around, make it whatever I want it to be. So why am I carrying two screwdrivers? Well, if I'm doing some work where it takes a Phillips and a slotted, I don't like sitting here spending the time to change this around like crazy. Uh, like if I know that I'm gonna do that, I just as soon be able to pull out two different screwdrivers out of my bag. So that's why I keep this in there for the most part. But again, that's why these things are changeable. If, if I need more room, say I need the strippers, I need some diagonals, I need a Cobra, but then I'm also gonna need the step cuts or I'm gonna need something else. I might lose this screwdriver, put a pair of step cuts over there. Again, that's why this back row to me is more of my interchangeable row, and it lets me do those things. So, again, with my 5 sixteenths and quarter-inch Malco, I can also, you know, put that into this screwdriver. Or if I lose this screwdriver, I can also take it out of the impact and make that my screwdriver. I can put a bit holder in this 11 and one impact and make that a screwdriver. That's why I leave this 11 and one impact in here all the time is because it's pretty versatile to where if I can only have one screwdriver, this right here does a lot of work. And then again, this might be sitting outside of my bag. And instead of me grabbing this and taking it in or me taking this off and taking this big bag in every now and then I'll just come out to this bag and I'll grab this and I'll throw that in my pocket. And this is what I carry in. And again, even though it might not be, my favorite screwdriver handle it might not be my favorite bits it's very hard 
to get more bang for your buck on space and then what you can do with this as far as changing out to a magnetic nut driver if you want to or whatever it is you know that's a very good option on this Klein 11 and one impact which again I've got a review for if you don't know anything about that you can check that out and then I have my forged wire strippers is the last tool that I keep back here in the back and again it's more so because these are my favorite strippers they do the most functions they do the most that you could possibly do that's why I keep those in there but sometimes maybe if I'm going to do uh, just 14 and 12 gauge wire I actually sometimes will come out and just grab my uh, 11 and 1 installation pliers or I don't know if they're the 11 and 1 I can't remember how many functions that it had but basically the electrical installation pliers the 1382 8s because that's all they do is 12 and 14 but they're a little more slender I actually like the way that they work better so I prefer those but you know you got way more functions on this one that you can use so that's why these typically will sit back here but again maybe sometimes on the back row if I know that all I'm doing is Phillips and slotted work I'll take out this 11 and 1 and I'll take out this vessel uh, tang through and then I'll come over here and get my current new favorite screwdrivers my um, Vera ball handles that are the slotted in the Phillips I'll just swap those out I'll put those two in this bag I'll drop these two screwdrivers in there and now I've got those two and both of these slots so if we look at how many holes that we are how many slots that you get inside of this pouch just so you have an idea on that and again, I can't I don't remember how many the mp2 has I think maybe it's got one more kind of row almost but you get two slots here that are open on the bottom so you could put a longer screwdriver through and it comes through it's able to fit in there so that's super nice and then you get two slots here that are definitely big enough for whatever pair of pliers that you want to put in there but again maybe i don't need a pair of pliers at all and i just want to carry even more screwdrivers with me so i don't want to swap back and forth i could add in you know a square uh, number two or maybe i'm doing some work where i need some insul uh, insulated screwdriver i could take this philo one that my buddy sent me there put that in here you could swap out all sorts of things however you want to do it that's why i like this again for the most part everything on mine stays loaded out just like i showed you with the exception of this back row this back row is the ones that typically get changed out over time to whatever's going to suit me best for whatever job that it is that i'm doing uh, but overall i think it's a great pouch i think that again the fact that you can just easily take it and put it right onto your belt i like this tripod type function and again you get several different little pockets but it's not so big that it's like carrying a big old pouch with you full of tools because the bigger pouch that you get that's like if i carried that on me i'm never going to carry it with this same amount of tools and have like four empty slots it's just the way our brain works is like i got to stick something in this slot so even though this was more expensive it just is easier for me to use because i don't overload it and it makes it nice that everything's just so compact and right there ready for me to use i really like this let me know down in the comments below if you've got one of these how much you like it if you've had an issue with your button make sure and let people know that down below and how Vito took care of it for you if they did or if they didn't uh, but i hope this was useful in some way again maybe you have no thought of even getting a pouch like this but maybe just the way in which i'm using my bags maybe you can find the way to use the same bags that you have and that same way to help you get the job done more efficiently or whatever it is just hopefully it was useful in some way and i hope that raul this is kind of what you were looking for in a video but hope all is well with each and every one of you you stay safe have a blessed day and i'll see you on the next video